<laughs> Hi guys, my name is Tiffany and welcome back to the first episode of season three of Tiny Tips with Tiff where I teach you skills in the NICU. So in this series, I really wanted to focus all about NICU basics and going back to all the basics of things that I've learned when I started out as a new grad. So the number one thing, of course, is swaddling. So in this video, we're gonna focus all about swaddling, the different techniques you can do to swaddle and certain times on when you should and shouldn't swaddle. So swaddling is very important for comfort in the NICU. Of course, it also helps with thermoregulation, keeping your babies warm and things like that. But swaddling is also important for other things too, as well as keeping your baby secure when you're doing a procedure. And also there are times when you shouldn't be swaddling. For example, some of our big kids, when they're older, we actually want to keep their arms open and exposed. And that way they are able to use their fingers and their hands as self-soothing mechanisms. So we actually do swaddle them in a way that their arms are able to be exposed for that reason. But I wanna just share with you guys some of my techniques and some things that I like to do for my patients when I swaddle them. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. All right, you guys, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to swaddle a baby, especially a baby in the NICU, just because obviously we're gonna be dealing with a lot of wires, a lot of things that they have. And so I just wanted to share with you guys some of my tips of how to swaddle a baby in the NICU. So this is my swaddle blanket and it's not like the typical ones we have in the hospital so i had to fold it a few times but this is what it should look like at least and so i like to create this little triangle shape um and that way it's a little bit easier to swaddle them and then you want to take the top corner of any side and just fold it over like this so now you have a little triangle and this is where you're going to place your baby's head and so I like to do little um, triangles just because you're gonna see what I'm gonna do here, which I personally do for all my babies in the NICU just because these babies um, are little Houdinis and they like to get their arms out and escape their arms and pull on their tubes. So what I like to do is I will grab their hands and actually tuck it in to a part of the triangle. And that way, when you swaddle them tightly, it's very hard for them to escape their hand. I mean. We're gonna have some kids that are gonna try to do it anyway, but this is a technique that I have. So you're going to tuck their arm into the triangle and you're gonna pull their arm to their chest like this. So that's how you're gonna do it. And kind of just smooth out any of the blanket if you can. So we're gonna do this bottom part now. And then if you, of course, we're gonna be dealing with a lot of wires, babies have pulse oxes and wires from their leads. So I try to, as much as I can, pull it out onto one corner so that it kind of comes out on one side like this and it's not tangled. Make sure that it's not tangled within their ankles and their legs because you don't want it wrapping around like this when you're swaddling them because if you're doing it tightly, it's going to cut off circulation. So you wanna make sure everything is nice and organized. Nothing is looping around their feet or their ankles. And so I kind of like to loop it onto one side and you're gonna get this bottom triangle here and pull it upward as tight as you can. What I like to do too, is I will grab my baby's feet and kind of push upward so that their knees are bent. And that way it creates a very tight swaddle like this. And then I'll grab the corner on the bottom and just lift upwards like that. So now you see all my wires are kind of on this side. If I were to put it on one side, I would probably place it on this side just to make it easier for myself and try to do your swaddle as tight as you can. And then my baby has an IV, so you're gonna have some kids that have IVs in their arms. Um, and so you really want to keep it exposed as possible. If you have it on the leg, then you wanna keep the leg with IV exposed and just wrap the other leg. But for example, in this one, I have my baby with an IV in this arm. So I'm actually going to tuck underneath and grab this corner and just go around like this. And then tuck underneath um, the patient right here and then that's pretty much your swaddle. So your arm is open and that way you can visually see your IV because you should be checking it every single hour. And so you want it exposed. But let's say, for example, my patient doesn't have an IV. So let's just pretend the IV is not there. What I actually would do is this corner triangle that I have up here, I would actually tuck under their arm like this as well, pull it close to their chest, grab the excess and pull over and wrap underneath the patient. So that is what a swaddle should look like and so yeah all your wires should be organized make sure that if they have an og or ng tube that it's free and open and it's not stuck inside the blanket i've had that happen to me a few times and then when i go to feed my patient my tube is inside of the blanket so this is pretty much how i swaddle all my babies in the nicu um but i do have some patients 
um, where sometimes they are much bigger and so we want to give them the ability to have their arms open and free. So when patients are of age, we want to actually give them the ability to use their arms as self-soothing mechanisms and so we have some babies that like to use their fingers or their hands to suck on to self-soothe. So in that scenario, instead of tucking their arms underneath the triangle, what you actually want to do is you have your triangle, you want to tuck it under their armpit pull as much as you can over to one side and kind of tuck underneath their backs. Make sure there's no wrinkles and it's nice and smooth. You don't want to be laying on a wrinkle, so you don't want your patient to lay on a wrinkle. And same process with the um, wires. You want to keep on to one side, make sure it's not tucked around their ankles or their feet. You're going to grab the bottom part of your blanket here, pull up and keep it as wrinkle free as possible with the wires in one corner. Keep this arm open, grab the excess blanket, pull over to one side and try to pull as tight as you can and keep it nice and tight and kind of tuck the underneath the patient like this. And this is what that should look like. So now the patients have their arms free available to self-soothe if they'd like to. But obviously be careful with patients that have OGs. In that case, you kind of want to avoid, if you can, of keeping their arms free. That way they don't pull on their tubes. Or some patients can have little mittens and that way at least they have their arms exposed, but they won't be able to grab onto things. So another type of swaddle that I see some nurses do as well is this type of swaddle where they still have the little triangle at the top but instead what they do is they actually do the corners first and then this under at the end so i'm going to show you how i have seen other people do it this is just another type of technique you can do i personally prefer the other one but here is the technique so you actually do the same process tuck underneath the triangle and pull onto one side as tight as you can keep it wrinkle free as much as possible Let's pretend the IV is not there. We're going to do a little tuck under the hand as well. Pull into the center like this. And then I've had some nurses where they grab the bottom part and they fold underneath like that. Um, personally, I don't like doing that just because a lot of times babies kick and then it comes undone and whatnot. But if you have older patients that like to have their legs exposed or some babies that don't like to be wrapped with their feet, then you can do it in this way. But yeah, this is another technique where you can fold underneath like that. And that's also another swaddle technique as well. And then another option I've seen some nurses done is they actually will take the bottom flap and instead of folding underneath like this, they actually will fold it upwards like this. So obviously I don't have a lot of room with my swaddle blanket, but I've seen some nurses where they'll pull over and wrap over like that. So really up to you how you like to swaddle, but these are some of the techniques. So everyone does their swaddle a little bit differently, but hopefully this video is helpful for you guys. Please give this video a thumbs up and make sure to check out my other series, season one and two of Tiny Tips with Tiff, where I teach you other skills as well. So make sure to check out those videos. I will leave it up in the cards above and stay tuned for this series. Cards,